Hi, I'm Adam and this is Joe and this May we'll be cycling 800 miles and climbing the three highest mountains in Britain. Uh, so that's Ben Nevis, Snowdon and Scarfell Pike, not in order. Um, so our route's going to take us from our hometown here near Cambridge across to Wales and then up to the Lake District and finally finishing up in Scotland. Yeah, we've, um, we've done a very similar trip to this before. Um, we, well, not as long, but we cycled to Wales and back last year in September, end of October as well. Um, it's about 450 miles, so significantly shorter. Uh, we're really doing this to kind of test ourselves a bit more, but also raise more money and more awareness for MIND. Yeah, uh, so we chose MIND for a couple of reasons, really. Uh, mainly because they're a great charity and they do some excellent work to support people with mental health issues. And secondly, a bit more of a personal reason, uh, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder quite a few years ago now and I found that cycling has really helped kind of my mental health as well as my physical health a bit obviously. And it's really just helped to stabilise out my mood a little bit. Yeah, like Adam says, I mean, it's, it's, good, for, it's good for his mind, it's good for my mind as well because I mean, I find it, it's just kind of that endurance kind of sport keeps you keeps you fit and keeps you kind of thinking ahead it's, it's kind of a good motivational kind of thing and um, neither of us are particularly fit like we've only been doing this a short while so I mean it's good to kind of to have that drive I mean yeah, push pretty much complete anything if you really set your, set your mind to it um, so I mean we'll be doing this all unsupported so there's going to be like no one waiting to help us if, if things go wrong <laughs> I mean, we'll be carrying. They inevitably will be, obviously. Yeah, I imagine <laughs> stuff will go wrong. But we'll be carrying everything from kind of food and drink right up to our tents and our sleeping bags. Yeah, so we're doing it on pretty knackered old 80s racing bikes, which we've just had done up a little bit, fitted with new cassettes and bits. I'll, um, I'll overlay some video and images so you can see what our bikes look like over this bit. Um, so, yeah, I've got an old Raleigh. Raleigh winner bike, yeah, um, guy, pretty popular in the 80s. Got an old Peugeot, yeah, it's an old Peugeot Performance 200. <laughs> great yeah. little bikes, they're really sturdy. I mean, we rode on them to Wales and back last year and they did us great. Only a few minor yeah. injuries to the bikes, I suppose. I mean, you could spend thousands of pounds on good bikes, but I guess the whole the whole idea behind this is to demonstrate that you can, you can just kind of get yourself a cheap bike on a budget and really just go for it and you know just yeah, commit to absolutely. it and have a good time yeah so we'll be filming this entire ride for you uh, hopefully releasing it as kind of a three-part mini documentary series type thing and that'll be on our youtube channel here at roaming cyclists um yeah. i think we'll be setting up an instagram page as well uh, so that'll be at roaming cyclists and our twitter if you really want to follow our every mile uh that'll be at roaming cyclists as well yeah so yeah we hope to see you soon i suppose yeah Feel free to follow all the information in the box below. Um, yeah, so you can keep up up to date. Yeah, thanks for watching. That went alright. Oh my god, we did it! <laughs>